everybody what's up everybody hey 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 how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Y'all doing okay today? Y'all doing okay? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? 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 I'm watching iCrawly. All right, I was going to do a daily routine, but pretty much what I do is I wake up, go to the bathroom, take me a little shower, shower, do my hair. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm watching iCrawly. I'm watching iCarly. I, it's just, I'm just chilling. I'm just sitting here watching iCarly. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Watching iCarly, you know, at work from home. You know, just chilling, chilling, chilling like a villain, like a motherfucking villain. I have a story time. Story time. I look like a fucking straight up man right now. What the hell is this shenanigans? Look at me. I look like a fucking. This lighting is so terrible. What in the hell? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So I have a story time. Do you want to know what my story time is? I got something for you. I'm just kidding. That accent is really annoying, isn't it? I know. <laughs> On the newspaper page, and love and tradition of the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. all I see is a tower of dreams. Real love bursting out of every But I apologize, y'all, because this goddamn light is like really stupid. Because it's just like right there. The other two lights are blown out. So you literally cannot, like, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, anyway, story time my ex tried to get me arrested, yo. Can you ain't gonna you ain't gonna believe this shit. You ain't gonna motherfucker believe this shit, bro. You ain't gonna believe this shit, bro. You ain't gonna believe this shit. I know I'm annoying. I'm annoying as fuck. I know. Oh, whoa. It's a slow day at work, so I'm just, you know, I haven't been posting a video about me lately talking about what's her name, Stello. <laughs> Stello, Stink, Mellow, Stinko, Stink, Young Stinky, <laughs> nickname. So, this is how it all started, bro. I was working security long, 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 long time ago, like years ago. Like, I was like freshly like 21 or some shit like that. I don't know. It was years and years and years and years and years ago. And I was they I was attracted to the, the, the janitor. She she was older. Psycho. I'm pretty sure you heard a story time about her being psycho and shit because she was crazy as hell. Like nut. Like she was like burn your shit crazy if you look at a TV and say a girl's hot crazy. She was like crazy as in I said I wanna marry Paris Hilton crazy. And when I said I wanna marry Paris Hilton crazy, she literally tried to burn all my Paris Hilton merchandise crazy. I mean, I know, I know, I understand her frustration because, you know, I am going to marry Paris Hilton. I'm telling y'all right now, bro. Y'all don't believe me when I say that shit, but for real, for real. What is this bullshit on there? Oh, oh, I can adjust the light. Oh, dang, that looks fucked up. Let me just go ahead and make it dark. That's dumb. Anyway, is this recording? Oh, it is. I always do that in my videos. So anyway, that's how it all started. Somebody just wrote up. Okay, anyway. Like I said. Um, so, you know, we started talking. We weren't talking at first. I would try to say hi or whatever. We wasn't, we wasn't talking at first. Like, she really did not want to hear shit at all. Not at all, not at all, not at all. She didn't want to hear shit about me, from me, regarding me, because she didn't know me and I was freshly new. I'm not going to say her name. We're going to call her Jane Doe. Because y'all didn't know who she is. Because if this girl sees this video, she might, like, try and kill me. Like, literally. But um, we haven't spoken until recently because we haven't talked for years and years and years and years and years after all this shit happened. Years and years and years and years and years. And this bitch decided to message me, hi, what's up? And I'm like, you got, you you tried to get me arrested back in 2015? What do you mean, what's up, bitch? Ho? Slut? Craziness? 
So anyway, 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 so anyway, yeah, so it took me a while to own up to her, but it took me a, a, a while, it took her a while to like, what is that word, to like open up to me and shit like that. So, you know, we decided to talk or whatever, and we started getting close. At first, we was just, hey, how you doing, what's up, how you doing, blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And then we slowly started talking. So we were talking about something one day, and she said, here, give me your phone number so I can call you. We can talk about this. And... I was I was trying to have her back. At my job, you know, people were talking shit about her. So I had to let her know, like, yo, these people are talking shit about you. So you got to be careful. And, and she called me and left a message because I missed her. But she called me private. It took her a while to give me her phone number, phone number. Like, it took her at least two or three months for her to actually give me her phone number. So she would just keep calling me private. We'd be talking shit, whatever, whatever. So one night we, like, got together or whatever. And we started, like talking talking she's like oh my god because i work night shift and she worked day shift so i'd be leaving at seven she'd be coming in at six and we would talk from like six to seven finally and then she gave me her phone number and she said call me when you get home or uh, i'm like okay so she called me and i got i got nervous i got scared to answer because my heart was just like she's calling oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. she's calling bad i sound like a sheep don't i so anyway finally she left her number in my on my voicemail finally so i finally was able to call her and, and get the courage to talk to her so we started talking and we just got to know each other we talked all night i'm talking we would talk from like 8 8 p.m to like 3 in the morning or some shit just getting to know each other and all that shit so <clears throat> we got, we went closer or whatever and then like you know she was like you got a man i'm like a man what's a man He's like, she's like, yeah, do you, do you do you got a man, a boyfriend? I'm just like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um. So anyway, she's like, oh, well, you got a girlfriend? And I was like, not anymore. Boom, right there. She's like, oh, well, well why are you single? I'm like, I don't know, because I can't find her I want. She's like, maybe because you, you need someone as old as me. Maybe you need somebody to show you how it's done. Maybe you need somebody who's mature. You know, she didn't say all this other shit. Like, just, just, I'm like, okay, shit. So we went on a date. She took me on a date the first time. Okay, and then, I, and then she, oh, well, actually, she always paid for my shit. Like, I never asked her to pay for my shit, but she would always take me out and just pay for my shit. Like, and she would come over and just, just she spoiled the fuck out of me. Like, she would give me clothes and shit. She would bring me food, so subway all that shit like all the time just bring that shit to me so our first day was successful and we went back to my place i lived by myself at the time and we were talking you know getting to know each other more no fucking yet and we just got closer and closer and closer and then she said i'm thinking of a question and i want you to answer if you answer right i'll tell you what the question is if you answer wrong then you won't know whatever the question is and i'll just move on and i'm like okay what's the question she's like i'm thinking of it in my head say yes or no and i'm like Okay, yes. And she's like, okay. The question was, will you be my girlfriend? I was like, oh my God, that was so cute. <laughs> oh my God, that was so cute. That was so cute. That was so fucking cute. <laughs> so cute. So cute. So cute, cute, cute. So, yeah. We went from there. And I said, yeah. And we made it official. Official, official. And we let everybody at work know, too. And after once people at work knew that we were, like, dating, it all went downhill. Like, they started harassing the fuck out of her. Well, so she said. So check this out. Anyway. Um, we were good at first. We were good. We were good. You know, the first couple months is always good. And then, like, that third month, boom. It goes downhill. She introduced me to her kids. And I'm telling you, she had. She never told me that her daughter was the same name as me. Like, so she introduced me to her kids. She, she had eight kids, and one of them died. Passed away. One of them got murdered. And she was on, um... That, that show that used to come on, Crime Stoppers. I think it was Crime Stoppers. So she would get upset about that. She'd start crying at work and everything. Because cause every day on that day of her son's death, she would come in just crying and shit. Like, with her little fucking buttons or whatever the hell they were or whatever. I felt bad. i sorry for your loss. That's very, 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 very tough. Um, So, <clears throat> you know... We, 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 we were, we were cool. Oh, damn. So I was like, I'm sorry. We were there for each other, whatever. So about that third or fourth month, it all went downhill. She got mad at me for saying a girl's hot. She would get mad at me for saying anything is hot. Like, and then I would like have my cat. I would be hugging my cat and she going to be like, 
wow, you give your cat attention, but you never give me attention. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? This was a long, long, long time ago. So she's like, I see how you are. You don't love me. You never did. And I'm like, whoa, I never said I loved you at all. We were just dating. How are you going to love me after three months? You don't even know me. She's like, I know. I know I love you. And you just don't feel the same about me. I'm like, okay, I do. I do love you. I have strong feelings for you. I do. I can see myself with you for a long time. That didn't last long. We only dated for two months. Or two weeks. No, fuck. Two years. We dated for two years. Until we both lost our job. <laughs> at that same place. And we continued on seeing each other. But she would be coming over to my house and be spending the night and everything. And, like, these, the people, the people at work did, like, harass her. And, like, the guys would be like, hey, can you, why don't you um, come up to the 44th floor with me so I can eat you out and shit like that. And she would tell me that they would be saying shit like that. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Are you kidding me? What do you mean I want to eat? What? And she's like, I know. They'd be sexual harassing me, all the guys. She was paranoid. She thought everybody was sexually harassing her. She thought our boss slashed her tires, broke her windows. I don't know. She just blamed everything. She just got super, 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 super crazy. So she was getting crazy to the point where I couldn't deal with it. Our relationship was the most toxic relationship I've ever been in. All we did was fight, fuck, and drink. Fight, fuck, drink. Fight, fuck, drink. When we were good, we were good. But when we were bad, we were really, 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 really bad. Like, she would, like, throw shit at me and fucking push me and scream at me and cry. And she was bipolar as fuck. Like, this bitch was wild. I mean, I don't know what the hell is wrong with her. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. You never effing love me. You can go fuck all them other bitches, you little hoe. Just everything in the book. Like, you know, I'm taking all my shit back that I bought you. Like, she bought me a weed and some other shit. She, she took the weed and broke it. I was like, that was mature. That was very mature. Like, she took... That, this is when the weed first came out. That's how long ago this was. This was when the Nintendo Wii first came out. She literally took my Nintendo Wii and threw it on the ground and broke it. And she took my controllers. And I'm like, well, that wasn't very mature, was it? And um, I would just take it, you know. I, I would just I would just take it. We had some bad fights, but it wasn't like I didn't treat her as bad as she treated me. Like, for real. It's like I said, when we were good, we were good. But when we were bad, it was really, really bad. Like, she was not safe. She was not health. She was not safe. It was an unhealthy relationship, and it it and I kept going back to her like a dumbass. Like she was emotionally abusive, physically abu abusive, all the above. And we all we all go through that. We all go through that stage in life where we like love somebody so much that we just can't let them go without us hoping that because we go back to her hoping like yeah maybe she'll change, maybe she'll change, maybe she'll change. You know what I'm saying? And it never happens that way. I don't know what her problem was, but she was nice, and, and that she was crazy. Well, that's my story time. No, I'm just playing. So anyway, within a year, about the, the beginning of the second year of our relationship, that's when it got worse. And it just all, like, it went way, way, way down here. We just had a bad final breakup. That was the last straw. I was like, I can't do this anymore. This is, we're done. And she's still screaming at me and yelling at me and everything and trying to make me feel bad. She's cussing me out. She's just saying very mean things to me for no reason. Like, I'm just sitting there taking it. She said hurtful things. I was, like, literally scared. So that last fight that we had, she was over my house, my apartment. I lived in an apartment at the time. The last big fight she had we we were yelling we we got the cops calling us because she was fucking nuts like hold on i gotta sign back in from these motherfuckers so um like i said the last big fight that we had the neighbors the cops were called and they came to my apartment and they're gonna see what was going on i was like it's all good this this woman was just leaving and she's abusing me but i don't want to get her arrested just fine get out so she took her shit, because a lot of her shit was at my house, and we broke up, and we didn't really talk. So then, this is where it gets where she tried to get me in trouble. So one day, her daughter, her daughter came to my apartment. Her daughter came to my apartment, right? Her daughter came to my apartment on her own, by herself, knocking on my apartment door. I was asleep, yo. I was either asleep or playing, I don't know, I didn't hear, but she started, like, banging harder Tiara, help help and i'm like what the fuck who's at my goddamn door and i looked through the wall the, through the window and it's her daughter or through the little peephole in the door and it was her daughter she's crying she's frantic she hugs me and everything and i'm like what's wrong what happened she's like this guy just tried to sexually assault me in the bathroom at school and i tried to call my mom but she's not answering her phone so you're the first person i called because i know me and you are very close and i'm like all right sweet so she tried to call her mom several times or whatever so, 
Finally, her mom called her back. Her mom must have got off of work and was home and saw that her daughter was not home. Her daughter said, I'm over at Tierra's apartment. Come get me. I tried to call. She's like, what? What the fuck are you doing there? I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops. Is she holding you hostage? Is she trying to, is she trying to kidnap you? She's trying to fuck you. What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? Mind you, this bitch is 16 years old. And I'm way older than that. Like, eh. back, so this was 2000, bet you 2000, actually it was like 2012, 13. Oh, sorry. So anyway, um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh yeah, so anyway, we're chilling and we're trying to reach out to her mom. Her mom is streaming through the phone. She's like, I'm coming to get you right now. Her mom called the cops. The cops come knocking on my door. Ma'am, we've got a call, a complaint that you not letting uh, someone's daughter go home. And I'm like, what? The cops were like, yeah, um, a miss bleep bleep called us and said that you are trying to kidnap her daughter and you will not let your daughter leave you will not let her daughter leave your apartment i'm like are you are you kidding me so i call her daughter over there i'm like yo come here and i'm like did i try and kidnap you am i am i holding you hostage her daughter was like no i came here because something happened to me at school and my mom was not answering her phone and the cop's gonna say, are you sure? Are you sure you're not scared? I'm like, if you want to let her go, let her go. Like, what are you talking about? She came to me because she, she couldn't get in touch with her mom. And she was frantic. You know, she told her, you know. So, um, the cop's like, okay, well, her mom's outside. I'm like, okay, well, she could go. And, and her daughter was just like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, you don't have to be sorry. Your mom's a fucking psychopath. I'm sorry that that's your mother because she's nuts. Like, what am I going to, what, what am I going to kidnap you for? What, what am I going to kidnap you for? Like, are you dumb? Her daughter really thought that I was kidnapping her daughter or her daughter or her mom really thought that I was either keeping her daughter hostage or some bullshit or trying to turn her daughter against her. She kept accusing me. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, daughter kept accusing me or whatever. Or what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Her mother really literally did think that I, um, try to turn her daughter against me which is stupid so then after that's all said and done it gets crazier okay so everything's good and done i couldn't believe that shit um and then maybe a month or two later i get a a, a subpoena like a thing in the mail court thing he said i have to go to court and it says defend it said defendant me plaintiff um so and so i believe i believe she was, yeah so I'm like, what is this all about? And this is a formal complaint has been um, filed against you for harassment through via t text message and via email. I'm like, what the fuck? So this woman reported me because she thought I was harassing her. She said I was harassing her, calling her names. I wouldn't stop harassing her. I wouldn't stop texting her. I was threatening her. I was blowing her phone up. I slashed her tires. And she slashed her own tires, mind you. She did this own shit to herself. She just kept accusing me of all of this shit and this fucking thing. So we go to the courtroom, right? So, um, I don't know what happened, but I'm just like, let me let me get my own lawyer. I, I, I show them my phone. I'm like, this is my phone. This is my phone right here. This this is when I, I had like a fucking iPhone Five, I think. No, was it? I think it was an iPhone five at this point. Yeah, it was like an iPhone five X or five G, whatever the fuck it was called. Five. What was it? Oh, uh, iPhone five something. So I had. I'm. I'm like, go ahead and go through my text messages. You feel? Hold on. Who wants to? We are now offering retail to forty five thirty p. Oh. Okay, so anyway, like I said, um, fi I iPhone 5. <clears throat> so anyway, um, after that happened, um, court date came or whatever. My lawyer was like, you ain't never going to believe this shit. Because I had a good lawyer. And I'm like, what? And her lawyer got a, a warrant to, like, get my ex's phone. Like, because she also had an iPhone 5. Um, got her ex's phone and got a, well, she got a warrant to get all the, like, receipts and all, you know, like, when you, when you go to court, or not when you go to, you know, like, when you need some, to get in contact with, like, the police, or with, how am I trying to say, what is it fucking called? Okay, so when you want to, like, get a copy or a transcript of somebody's phone calls, text messages, and all that, that's what it was. My lawyer got that from the T-Mobile, that she, no, she had AT&T at the time, from the AT&T, um, cell phone company. 
Like, all her phone calls, transactions, and all this shit. My lawyer was like, yo, you ain't never gonna believe this. And I'm like, what, what, what? And she's like, look at this bullshit. And I'm like, what? And, and mind you, my ex had all these text messages, like, threatening her, cussing her out, saying, I'm gonna kill you if I ever see her. Like, she had some very, she had death threats through text message that she was claiming to be me. She was just saying all this illegal stuff and I'm going to kill you and blah, blah, do all this to you. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to fuck your daughter. Yeah, I'm going to fuck your daughter, all right? No, no, thank you. She was fucking 16 at the time. I ain't a fucking pedophile. But now she's about 26, so, you know. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm just playing for real. So my lawyer comes and she said, look at this. And I'm like, okay, what is this? And she's like, this is your, you know, so-and-so's phone records. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, you're never going to guess what? And I'm like, what? Guess where these text messages are coming from? And I'm like, I don't know. I know there's not, they're not me. And she's like, yeah, they're not you. And I'm like, well, where are they coming from? A text-free app from your ex's phone. Your ex texted herself claiming to be you. I was like, what? And then she says again, yes. I'm like, my ex did what? I don't even want to refer her to my ex anymore. That person that was in my life texted herself. This is when text-free apps just started. That you can use them online. You can use them online. Like, you go on the website and text people from the website. They were coming... Some of them were coming from the text-free website from her, her IP address. And a lot of them were coming from her phone on the fucking app that she was texting herself. Changed the name on the text message thing in a T. And she was claiming to be me. And she said she's scared for her life. I'm scared for my life. I, I can't sleep and I don't know what to do. And I, don't have, I just need her locked away. All right, guys, I am back. I had to answer a phone call through my work from home job. So anyway, like I said, that's what my lawyer said. So she literally downloaded some text free apps and used the Internet to text herself claiming to be me. And trying to get me in trouble. So I was like, okay, wow, that's fucking nuts. That's some crazy shit for somebody to do. Like she literally tried to get me in trouble. Like that's she pressed charges against me from her for harassment and and death threats and shit like that can really get your ass in trouble bro so when we went in that courtroom bruh my lawyer was like um she took the stand right you know my ex took the stand um whatever well it wasn't really court court it was like a, a hearing little whatever the hell they call it so she was like crying fake crying and all that or whatever and then my lawyer was like objection my lawyer was like i disagree my lawyer um put printed out the things threw it at her and says whose phone number is that she goes that's mine and um Malia was like um so do you know where these texts are coming from and she was like yeah t <clears throat> and um seven o'clock <laughs> so uh my lawyer was like that's not true because what i did was i got a warrant to um, print out your, I got a warrant from your cell phone company, and it says that these text messages and calls are coming from your phone from a text free app that you downloaded. Here's the proof. The judge was like, put it up on the board, boom. Say no more. So she downloaded text-free apps and texted herself saying it was me threatening her and, and vandalizing her property and shit like that. Bruh, is that crazy or is that crazy? Because that shit could get you in serious trouble, that shit that she was accusing me of. And guess what? She ended up getting in trouble for something called, like, false something. Something that she, she got in trouble for something. I don't even remember what it was fucking called. False police reports and, and falsification or some crazy shit. And I've never talked to her again. And then recently, after all that, back in October, she decided to text me. And we haven't talked since 2002. 15 now after everything happened. I haven't talked to her or said a word to her since 2015 and she reached out to me in October of 2020 and she gonna say hi hello and I'm like
what? And I blocked her ass. That's it. 